the most vulnerable professor dr pratham vachara pandit the president of the uh, mahajwalongkorn lachana vidyalay university the most vulnerable professor dr prameti vachara pandit director of the international buddhist uh, college uh, the most vulnerable prameti uh, wasirodom the keynote speaker distinguished organizations and individuals who have made significant contributions to the field of peace and spirituality. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I want to express my uh, sincere gratitude to the event organizer for inviting me to speak on uh, the important topic of peace Unfortunately, uh, due to her uh, prior commitment, Ms. Kita Sapawal, uh, the intended speaker, who is the resident coordinator serving as the representative of uh, the Secretary General of the U United Nations in Thailand and the leader of the UN country team in Thailand, is unable to uh, be here today. Uh, in Kita's absence, I'm honored to step in and share insights on this crucial issue as we gather to commemorate the International Day of Peace. A conference like this is uh, very important. It allows the UN to uh, connect with young people, educators, uh, religious leaders. Uh, hear your voice and reflect that in our strategy. You are a custodian of the country and play and will continue to play a dominant role uh, in this green transformation, promoting environment and boosting social and economic inclusion to leave no one behind. Next slide, please. I will take the next 15 minutes to speak uh, to, to five broad themes. Uh, set the uh, global context, speak to the principle that underpin the SDGs, uh, the linkage between SDGs and peace, and showcase Thailand's progress. Introduce the UNCT or the UN country team and its priorities. Uh, share three examples of good practice and conclude with uh, the role that young people and people like you can play. Next slide, please. As you know, the world is experiencing multiple crises, uh, which include climate change uh, to economic slowdown, uh, combined with uh, rising geopolitical tensions. All countries are affected, with the less developed countries being impacted even more. In many ways, uh, COVID served as the tipping point. The Secretary General noted that we will be unable to limit the uh, global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees. More than 50 countries are dead stressed. This is resulting in higher prices of food, fuel, and consumer goods, for instance, making it even more important to uh, speed up progress on the SDGs because accomplishing them will mean positive outcomes for people, the planet, and the economy. The SG speech or the Secretary, uh, Secretary, Secretary General speech at the World Economic Forum is a good reference. Next slide, please. The SDG are uh, uh, a multi multilateral endeavor that uh, brings the uh, 193 countries to collectively commit to achieving these goals by 2030. 
It is this sense of solidarity and unity of uh, purpose that defines the SDGs. These 17 goals are integrated, are inter are integrated, interrelated, and interdependent, which means that achieving one of the uh, goals will uh, positively impact many of others. However, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to achieving the SDG. Uh, achieving them will require governments, businesses, civil society, and young people coming together collectively. This year reflects the midpoint of, uh, for the SDGs. Next slide, please. Globally, the SDGs are off track. A recent report by the Secretary General shows that only 12% of the targets are on track to be achieved by 2030. In contrast, the progress in Thailand has been much more robust. 42% of the indicators are on track. A third need acceleration and a quarter are regressing. Uh, please note that these numbers are based on uh, in the, the available data of 65, uh, 60 percent. Uh, currently, we, we have 232 indicators, and only half, about half of the indicators are available. So the picture is a part of pictures of the situation, since we don't have the complete uh, data. Next slide, please. This slide sets out the SDG progress for each of the goals. There are two goals where much more progress is needed. These include Goal 13, Climate Action, and Goal 2 on Zero Hunger, with a focus on sustainable agriculture and reducing uh, food waste, for which UN is uh, partnering with the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperative to use satellite technology and farm-based surveys to fill the data gap. Next slide. Peace and, S and the SDGs are interconnected. They encompass not only the absence of conflict, but also the pursuit of sustainable development, with SDGs promoting peace and peace promoting the achievement of SDGs. Peace building extends beyond uh, mitigating human conflicts. It also entails enforcing harmony with the environment or the matter nature, given the, the threat posed by climate change, including migration, wars induced by resource scarcity, and food-related uh, social unrest. Achieving the SDGs can contribute to lasting peace by addressing the root causes of conflict, including poverty, inequality, and injustice. This structure highlights the key message that SDGs serve as a comprehensive framework for achieving long-lasting peace, with SDG 16 and 17 representing direct actions toward peace and others contributing indirectly uh, to sustain it. Next slide, please. Let me now introduce uh, the UNCT or UN country team in Thailand. The UNCT in Thailand consists of 21 UN specialized agencies, working in a partnership with the government, the private sector, and civil society to speed up progress on all the goals. All the 21 agencies uh, are bringing science-based solutions, digitization, and policy advice to a wide range of projects across the country. Among our uh, agency, uh, many that you are already familiar with, for example, WHO, UNESCO, UNDP, and UNICEF. Next slide. There are three key areas that the UN priority prioritize in support of Thailand 13 National Economic, Social, and Development Plan. 
which aims to transform the country into a high-value and sustainable Thailand, uh, premised on green and equitable growth. First, supporting a transition to a green, inclusive, and low-carbon economy. The second priority is to speed up digital transformation to empower communities and people with a focus on human capital development. And the third priority is to address inequalities to make sure no one is left behind. Next slide. Uh, go back to one slide, please. Okay. This set out the... Uh, on, on that, on that. Ah, okay. That's, thank you very much. This set out the footprint of UN in Thailand. The UN city has collective uh, outreach in about 25% of the provinces. The UN has four field offices in north along the Thai Myanmar uh, border, set up by IOM and UNHCR uh, to support humanitarian uh, assistance for long standing refugee population uh, and migration management programming. We also have staff from UNDP, UNICEF, and IOM supporting programming in the south, southern border provinces, the La Naratiwat uh, provinces, which offer the UNCT a more granular and real-time picture of the situation on the ground. Last year, we deepened this uh, outreach, next slide please, through a ceremony where all the 76 governors, next slide, and next slide. Uh, the governor of all the 76 uh, uh, provinces uh, committed themselves to localizing the SDGs. As we scale up SDG localization with funding support from the EU and led by UNDP, we will further deepen our footprint across these provinces. Uh, going back one slide. Going back, please. One more back. Another back. Okay, thank you. Allow me to share with you three uh, examples of good practice. West seg segregation, non-communicable diseases, and business and human rights. Excellent. The UN uh, partnership with the uh, Ministry of Interior is enabling 12 a million rural households to segregate their waste and reduce their carbon emissions. This is already yielding over 550,000 tons in carbon reduction each year. This is equal to taking about 100,000 vehicles out of the street. The first tranche of the carbon credits have been bought by Kasikon Thai Bank. And the money uh, will be used by local administrative uh, organizations to invest in local infrastructure, uh, supporting the process of uh, deepening decentralization. Next slide, please. Next slide. Secondly, the WHO is partnering with Ministry of Public Health uh, in remote area of northern provinces uh, to introduce community-led diagnosis, treatment, and management of hypertension, which is the key cause of heart attacks uh, using telemedicine. 15 million people suffer from hypertension in Thailand. This pilot, which involves uh, village health volunteers and primary health care uh, officials, show that 59% uh, of patients have benefited from these uh, protocols. If successful, this will be scaled up nationwide. Next slide, please. The third one is UNDP, UN Women IOM initiative. They are working with the business to introduce human rights due diligence 
in line with the government's national action plan or NAP. This means that business uh, commit themselves to protect their workers' rights and address their grievances. At the same time, they also commit themselves to reduce their environmental footprint by, in, uh, by reducing their greenhouse gas emission and eliminating pollution. Next slide. In these uh, and other initiatives, young people are playing a key role as they are powerful agents of changes. At the UN, we have set up a youth panel with 12 young people from across the country, each of them with their own unique interests. Uh, the resident coordinator, or Ms. Gita, engage them with them regularly, and they guide us in our work. They also help boost UN soft power and broaden our outreach to young people via social media platforms. For example, on the UN Instagram account alone, we now have over 8,000 engagement daily. They have told uh, resident coordinator that the UN in Thailand is not very accessible, uses language that they do not understand, and does not set out uh, pathways for young people to engage in SDG. And we take note of this and making change to improve it. As young people, educators, and religious leaders, you may be wondering how you could contribute to the SDGs while also fostering peace within your uh, society and making peace with nature. There are three key uh, actions that you can make to take to make positive change in your schools, universities, and communities. First is to think about the SDG and think big. Then act on them and bring digital solutions to speed up SDG progress. Every contribution, small or big, make a difference. Your contributions can lead Thailand to a better future and can also make the country an, exam uh, an example of other nations to follow on global scale. Next slide, please. Okay, so for more about the UN Thailand, please check out the UN website. And uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Thank you very much.